Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to demonstrate how we can use the Empire tool to create a macro based payload. And I would like to inform you that the Empire is the second highest used tool after the Cobalt strike uh, by the adversaries uh, to lure the victims. So, uh, for the installation of this, uh, they have mentioned in this area if you would like to install on Kali, then these are the commands to install on the Kali. And uh, from if you'd like to run the Docker, then these are the commands. The installation is pretty simple and straightforward. Let's jump onto the Kali machine and try to install it. And let's see from there. So I'm using these commands, which is sudo apt and install PowerShell Empire. Let's press enter. So it's saying that it is going to add uh, 56.1 MB additional disk space. So I would like to say yes and then press enter all right now it has successfully installed so to execute it we will use the sudo and uh, powershell empire this is the command sudo powershell empire so here is the powershell i'm just searching that what is the spelling for this because uh, I was using the different module to install it, but now you can see uh, it's uh, now launched. Very beautiful uh, prompt. We have now 318, uh, 319 modules currently, and we don't have any listener, we don't have any agent. So, what we will do first, we have to start a one listener, then we will see how we can get the agent after creating the listener. So I will be leveraging uh, some of the commands to understand because uh, I don't want you know to type all of these commands. So for the stager, I will be using use listeners, and then we will press the enter. There is no listening module, so I will see that what are the other options are available here. So if uh, I will press the tab key, so you can see the listeners options are available here. Which listener you would like to use? So in my case, I'm going to use the HTTP based listener. So I will be typing HTTP. Now I need more information about this. So I will type help. So these are the commands are available. So if you would like to see the options of this, then we will be using the info command. And info will show you that what are the other options. So here is the name of your listener. There is the host IP where you are hosting. And here you need the binding IP. So set the binding IP. Set binding IP, which will be your machine IP. And set port, which will be, in my case, I'm using the port number 80. And you can also use uh, different options like uh, to bypass and uh, to use the proxy and uh, the date, kill date when you want uh, this to be killed because this is going to be a listener in those cases and working hours the one this listener will uh, have start listening and the header information and the cookies information you can also manipulate all of these areas so i'm using the default configurations let's verify again so we have here the binding ip we are here the port we have specified and this will be the host url and i just type the execute As you can see that our listener has successfully started. So, so far we have created the listener. We will go back. Now the time to, uh, to, uh, to install or sorry, to create a payload. And how to create a payload, we will be using the same option. Help to understand how we can create, create a payload. So, in order to create a payload, we will be using the use stager command. So you can see the use stager when I press enter, no, no option. So I will go again and try to tap which stager you would like. So in those cases, you have the options for multi-stager, uh, the stager for Mac, stager for Windows. So here I am going to use the stager for Windows. In those cases, I will be using this uh, Windows macro. There is another option which they have added the Windows macro less MS Word. This, all, this, all, this option is also awesome. 
so here you can see so I have to specify the listener set listeners and the listener in my case is HTTP which I, I gave the name and anything else I, so I have set the HTTP listener the language is PowerShell output file I don't care the what will be the name obfuscation and anything I just want to leave it by default I don't want AMSI bypass at this point of time to demonstrate this demo so what I will do I will just uh, type help again to understand what I can do now so nothing it's like I can just create a payload here is the payload so you have to just copy this payload and uh, use this payload into the MS board. How I will use this payload? I'll show you in using the Windows machine. So I just copied this payload. Let's jump into the Windows machine to use this payload. All right, so I have copied this macro uh, to the desktop or the victim machine. And now I will be starting the Windows. Winward, which we should be Winward. <laughs> Where is this file resides? This should be Office. Yeah. So okay, uh, now I open the new new document, and I'll go to the view. Under the view, I will click on the macro and record new macro. I will giving the name of the macro one for this one, and uh, selecting the document one in this case. Just click OK and record some of the macro and then now you can stop the macro. Once you stop it, just try to view the macro and add this macro. After editing, just uh, try to delete all this content which is already there or paste the content which you copied. So remember this is auto close. So this will be executed. Uh, this macro is going to be executed once this uh, document is closed or the user is going to be close this document or in other, other words you can say when you transfer this document to a victim when the victim click in, on this document they uh, is going to be generate this macro so I'm going to save this macro just to, let's verify again we have saved we have here the macro and we will be saving this macro using this button so it's asking for the file name so I will be you know keeping this file on the desktop and uh, saving with the compatibility with the macro macro enable documents and uh, just save it okay now you can go ahead and close this document once you close it this powershell you know pops up and once you got this powershell pops up it means your macro executed now uh, now Go back to the Kali machine. See, you get the you know initial foothold. Once you get the initial foothold, and you how to interact with this agent. So there is a command for interact, and uh, you can specify the agent. In those cases, you need to go to the agent mode, agents, and then interact, and specify the agent ID or name. You can rename this uh, agent name. Now uh, you can get information like sysinfo. So it takes time because I uh, by default it takes uh, 5 seconds. And I didn't customize those settings. So you can see here. Uh, I got the IP address and the information related to it. I need some more details. So in order to execute the CMD based command just you need to type share. And uh, you can use IP config. So now this uh, empire will send this command to the agent, and agent will execute this command and return it back. So you got the IP address now. You need the username, so you can get uh, username detail net users. So it will give you the net users detail. For example, those are the users; those are residing over there. And similarly, you can go ahead and you know, use the different modules which is available in the Empire to elevate your privileges from a user to administrator. And uh, then you can also persist yourself into the uh, victim machine so that if in case the victims rebooted the system, 
you will still get the connection why the power cell is used because it's uh, not creating any file it's directly executing in the memory and you can say fileless malware in those cases it's very tough to detect it however the default configuration of empire can be detected easily but in this demonstration i am using this uh, by disabling the, the antivirus so that I, uh, I did not execute any evasion techniques to bypass the, the empire to demonstrate this demo hope you enjoyed this demo if it is then don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you in next video bye take care